far as brain drain and, and stuff like that, I think for Israelis, a period of time abroad uh, is expected, not uniform, but is expected. Most Israelis spend several years in a fellowship abroad um, and benefit from that. One, because it's expected. Two, because they, they are exposed to you know, different uh, perspectives. But the most important benefit is networking. In other words, those Israelis who've been, it's not that they're exposed to smarter people or, or you know, you can get anything you want basically through like we're communicating now. Um, you, you know, I, I publish and have collaborators I've never met in person, but I am close to, right? Uh, so it's, it's, but once you've been at Hopkins for a few months, you're an Israeli and you've been at Hopkins for three or four years and you have personal friendships with the head of, um, you know, molecular biology there or something like that. 